They want to finish Allah's religion, Allah's name. They want to finish all the goodness in this world. And they want to fill this world with evil, with tyranny, with corruption. They want all the people to be their slaves, to follow them and not Allah. This is their main goal. So Allah says, even if this is their goal, but Allah promises here that He will certainly perfect His light, no matter what. Even if disbelievers hate it, dislikes it. He will perfect his light. He will save his religion. He will save the goodness in this world. That's why we see in the past, at the time of Prophet, peace be upon him, all the battles that the Muslims fought, they were victorious. So in the current time, this verse specifically applies to the people of Yemen, to the resistance of Yemen, who is indeed the light of Allah in this dark time. And the faithless, the disbelievers here are the same people who were disbelievers at the time of Prophet, peace be upon him. These Yids and their allies, they have started aggression on Yemen. They know very well that this is the axis of resistance. These people are the people of courage. And also there is a history how Yemenis have defeated them, their whole empire in the region, and how they have expelled each and every person of this sect from their country. So they are very much angry on Yemen. And because Yemen is the core supporter of the resistance in the war region, that's why now they have started aggression on Yemen. But what Allah says in this verse is that He will perfect His light, even if the disbelievers dislike it. They want to crush Yemen, but they don't know that Yemenis are the people of courage, are the people of resistance. They have already defeated them, especially in the past 7-6 years. Yemen has crushed them in the Red Sea. And now that they have imposed a full-fledged war on Yemen, Yemen will retaliate. They will take the revenge because they are the believers, they are the men of faith. And Yemen has already proved by their attacks. They are ready for this war because these people are the followers of our Prophet, peace be upon him. That's why our Prophet loved them so much. And in the army of Imam Mahdi, peace be upon him, most of the men will be from this country, not because they are chosen. Allah has given them some extra spirituality. No, because they have proven to be the perfect ummah, to be the perfect followers of Prophet, peace be upon him. And Allah says actions matter. So if you show the courage, you will get the reward. There's the simple formula. There is no special blessing, no special treatment. It is because you have followed the real Islam. That's the reason you are blessed by Allah. So we salute this resistance. Inshallah, Allah's light will be perfect and will continue till Qiyamah. And inshallah after that, forever.